Chef Duke here, we're gonna do a great, great dish that's really a Italian staple, especially in New York, here in New Orleans. Italian sausage and pepper. Here's how it goes. First, we're gonna start with our peppers. I like to do all different types of colors of peppers, but this is how you cut them. You're gonna take the top off, right on the inside, you're gonna pull out that nice seed part of it. You're gonna cut the back in, just like this, and you're gonna slice it. You're gonna open it up, cut it right on the white part. You're gonna cut some of this fat out of the, uh, out of the pepper. The rib, some people call it, but we're gonna, we're gonna cut a little bit of this out. And once you have it, you're gonna cut it in the middle, and then you're gonna julienne it. Nice size strip. You want them kind of one inch, one and an eighth inch, because you don't want them too thin, so they disintegrate. It's very important that it's all very evenly cut so they all cook at the same time, in the same length of time. Cut that little fat out of there. Even this we use in the restaurant, and I'm gonna show you that. We make our roasted ginger pepper sauce with that, with our famous dish, Oyster Giovanni. With this, we take it, cut it in half. We don't throw anything away, everything has to be used. That part, the same part, we take that green stem out, we cut it in half, and then we use this in our vegetables. So every part of it, except for the seed part, is used at the restaurant. This part we'll make our sauce with, this part will go in our vegetable, this is the only part that goes in the garbage. Got my Italian sausage. We have a hot pan. We added just a little bit of oil to the bottom of it because this is gonna make its own oil. Now, you put enough in there for however you want. And this is one of those dishes you have to watch. You don't want it too hot because you don't want your skins to bust, but you want it just hot enough so we can cook it. I like to cook them on a high heat, then I reduce it, then I throw it in the oven and finish them in the oven. They should be spewing juice. You're looking for that nice brownness on the skin. Now, you could cook this on the stove, on the top of the stove, at a low heat and cover it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it after we cook it, we're gonna throw it into the oven and let it cook in the oven. For about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on about 325. Jumbo yellow onion. Again, we save this for stock. You're gonna cut it in half, and then just where the ribs are, all of it's gonna fall just perfectly. Falls right apart. This goes in the stock. We don't throw anything away. This is how we're gonna start our dish off. Hot pan, remember I always talk about smoking hot pan, right? 
We're gonna add a touch of olive oil. Remember, we're sauteing, we don't wanna cover it too much. Just enough. Our onion. Some of our sliced garlic. And I'm looking at it, I'm trying to break up my little onions so they all cook nice and perfect. I wish I had smell-o-vision because it's just starting to smell so good. Remember what we talked about, you never, never, never brown the garlic because it's going to get bitter. We're just getting it to where it's just looking right. The onions are going to get transparent. And then we're going to add our peppers. Some fresh basil, a generous amount. Some Italian seasoning, a little crushed red pepper. Now, if you were in New York and you were at one of the country, uh, one of the Italian fairs, you get sausage and pepper, and that's one of the famous dishes that everybody loves over there. Here in uh, New Orleans, we love the Italian sausage too. So you just have your onions and peppers. Look at that, how pretty that is. Remember, you always eat with your eyes first. That's why it's got to look. It's got to look good, or you're not going to put it in your mouth. This is a great, great dish. Now, I don't like to cook those peppers all the way. I like them firm to a bite, or al dente. I don't like to overcook my vegetables. So what we're gonna do here, is right here, we're gonna take some sweet, sweet vermouth. We're gonna call that deglazing the pan. Homemade marinara sauce. and a touch of garlic butter. You're gonna stir it out around so it gets all incorporated. Gonna season it to taste, a little lemon pepper, a little bit more Italian seasoning. Now, we finish with this, we're gonna put it on the side. We're gonna pull up our sauce. I'm just gonna turn and make sure I get that nice brown color everywhere. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna deglaze it with a little bit of sweet vermouth. If you can only smell this. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more marinara to the, to the sausage. 
I'm gonna come back and show you how to put this dish together. Keep it simple, stupid. Very, very good. Great dish. Great for the summertime because you can do it on a barbecue pit. Don't go nowhere. Dig in. To plate it, it's real easy, guys. Remember, you got a hot pan. Your sausage is there. I'll just kind of move all the sausage back in the back area. Everything's been cooked together. All those peppers. Oh, the smell is unbelievable. And I'm just going to put those peppers on the bottom with those beautiful Vidalia onions. That's why Italian is so good because it's all, you can serve everything family style. And then the sausage and you're just going to layer that out. If you had a nice little piece of pull boy bread, there's your pull boy. Little, uh, little, you know, you can either put a little cheese on this. Now watch when you grab this. It's cut perfect. It's cooked perfectly. That's Italian. Sausage and pepper, dude style. Dig in, baby.